Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. A review a lot of people have been looking forward to for a long time, myself included. This is the very often requested, very famous Trappist Rochefort 10. 11.3 ABV, pretty big beer. It's got a date on there of November 16th, 2016, so is that five years out? Must be. So it's a pretty fresh bottle. Love that blue cap on there. Get it in the glass. I mean, it looks the same as Westy 12 or Chimay Blue. This one is an actual Trappist quad instead of a Belgian Strong Dark Ale, like the 6 and the 8. You know, it's got that kind of, you know, it looks black, kind of brown, mahogany, ruby red, whatever you want to call it. It's a certain, you know, quad kind of color to it. The head has like this soda, like it just fizzles away like soda, as you can see. I mean, there's still some coating on there, and I left a little bit. Still got the yeast in the bottle, so we'll add that later, but on to the aroma. Smells, uh, smells very, like, musty, very... It smells like a cellar, or it has a little bit, almost like a, like a, a cheese kind of cell, a cell, a cheese kind of smell to it, almost like a blue cheese or something like that. I mean, that's not to say it's bad or anything. I mean, it just smells very fresh compared to some of the other, you know, vintage quads that I've had. Um, you know, if this is very fresh, I mean, I'm definitely picking up alcohol on here. And a hint of kind of almost like rum kind of sweetness in there. So, let's get into this one after 600 sun episodes. Cheers. Oh wow, that is intense. I mean, this has got to be a very, you know, well, relatively fresh bottle. Um, it just, as soon as it hit my tongue, it was just very energetic in the mouth. Just kind of overwhelmed the whole mouth with that, not just the Belgian carbonation, but just like that Trappist quad body. Remember like three years ago when I reviewed Chimay Blue, a very similar reaction of just like, wow, that's a, a very strong beer. The same thing here. Just <clears throat> overwhelms the palate. The 6 and the 8 had a little bit almost like kind of brown ale or stouty quality to it. This is more traditional Belgian quad. Just that dark fruit basket. There's a certain alcohol component in there. Although it's, it's working with the palate very well in this case. So it's almost like drinking, you're almost like drinking like a spirit or a liqueur or something like that uh, with this beer. It just kind of dances on your tongue. It has this, uh, I really like the second half on this one. Similar to the six, it has like this kind of caramel, slight kind of toffee taste to it, a little bit, like a, like a, you know, confectionery kind of sweetness on this one. I didn't, you know, I don't really get that with the other ones that I can recall. They are more like liquid fruit, very wine-like. This one, this one is not, it is not wine-like at all. Some of their ones, you just kind of had like that kind of sour grape or, you know, red wine kind of quality overall to it. Do not get that on the Rochefort 10. I'm going to add the, the yeast in here, see what happens. You know, it's a little bit more bitterness, a little bit more of a dry overall kind of taste on it, but, you know, it's fine. Um, it's weird because, like, this beer, I'm almost done with this already, but I was going to say that drinkability on this one is kind of low because of the, <clears throat> the spastic Belgian carbonation. It, it just, it vibrates on the tongue. It's almost like that liquid sandpaper kind of texture. And it's like drinking like a fresh, you know, twist off bottle of Coke or, or a fresh can of Coke. And you try to drink it straight from the bottle or the can and you get that much carbonation. Mm. Really like the sweetness on the end here. Um, yeah, that, that kind of caramel, toffee, confectionery. A little bit of like the fruit basket up front. Um, and this this is really impressive for such a relatively young beer. I would love to get, you know, some vintages and do a vertical tasting of this. Maybe I'll do that, you know, after I retire from Chad's Beer Reviews. But, uh, you know, we'll see. I don't know, I have to say I really like this one. I mean, Wesley 12, Chimay Blue, St. Bernie's 12, 
all really good beers too. And this one's about the same as all of those. Um, and I, I think I've rated all of those a 9. So I will, I will continue the trend with this one. This is a 9 for the Trappist Road for a 10. Um, I know some people might be a little disappointed by that. I mean, I, I always say exactly how I feel. I never bullshit you guys. So, you know, if we had like a five-year vintage and it was kind of smoothed out, um, I, I could see this, you know, bumping up to a 10. Um, but uh, as of this, you know, bottle, this serving right now, I mean, yeah, this is a fantastic beer. Um, but I've, I've had better, so, you know, I got to call it like I see it. So, yeah, 9 out of 10 for Trappist Rochefort 10. Uh, very, you know, excellent beer overall. Very impressive beer. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Only a few more weeks left till the show retires, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Cheers.